What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Los, and on today's video, I'm going to be going over the Raiders' full draft, and I'm going to be giving them a grade on how I think they fared. So, let's go. Welcome back, Raider Nation. Before we get started on today's video, if you would like to follow me on any social media platforms like TikTok or Twitter or Instagram, you could follow me at Raider underscore underscore Los. And if you're new to this channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, hit that bell and hit that like so you will be notified on all the videos that I come out with. Well, let's get straight to it, y'all. Our Las Vegas Raiders ended up with nine total picks. Before the draft had started, our Raiders had 12 picks. But as you may know, we, we did a few trades and we ended up with nine total players. We also added some key undrafted free agents. We're not going to talk about them today. This is strictly on the players that we drafted. Without further ado, let's get started. With our first pick, we ended up getting defensive end Tyree Wilson, a great player that can rush the passer and he could drop back in coverage. And he can also play the three technique, which means that he could play D tackle alongside Max Crosby. So potentially we could be rushing the passer with three great pass rushers, Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, and now Tyree Wilson. That's not including Malcolm Kuntz. And also, with our second pick, we added the best tight end in all of the draft, Michael Mayer. This guy is going to be a stud for us. He's already being compared to Rob Gronkowski. They're calling him Baby Gronk, but we're not going to give him any nicknames. He has to earn that. You know, Michael Myers sounds pretty cool, but no one has suggested that just yet. But I'm really excited for that pick. With our third pick, we ended up getting defensive tackle Byron Young. This guy is going to be good. He could potentially become a starter day one. He will have to be fighting for that position against guys like Neil Farrell Jr. and Bilal Nichols. And with our fourth selection, we ended up getting kick return specialist and wide receiver Trey Tucker. And like I said in my prior video, this could potentially be the end for Hunter Renfro. And finally, in the fifth round, we finally picked up a cornerback, Jack Orion Bennett. This corner is not going to be an outside corner. He's most likely going to be playing the slot, and he will be challenging Tyler Hall to potentially be the starter at the slot position. And for our next pick, we ended up getting quarterback Aiden O'Connell out of Purdue. This guy had a 67 completing percentage. And also in the fifth round, we ended up picking up a safety in the name of Christopher Smith out of Georgia. He brings that dog mentality. And I think as of last year, he had, I think, around three picks. In the sixth round, we also picked up a linebacker, somebody I'm excited for, Amari Bernie. Now, this guy could cover the tight ends and he could play sideline to sideline. So I'm really excited for that player. And last but not least, in the seventh round, we picked up defensive tackle Nestor Jade Silvera out of Arizona State. Now, coming into the draft, we had a lot of glaring needs. We needed a defensive tackle, a linebacker, and a safety. Heck, we also even needed a quarterback because we know Jimmy Garoppolo is not the answer to the future. And we needed some offensive lineman help. Now, I know a lot of us wanted to get Christian Gonzalez or Devin Witherspoon, me, myself included. But Tyree Wilson is a great pickup in the first round. He's going to come in, like I said, and start day one. I believe he's going to challenge Chandler Jones for that starting position alongside Max Crosby. We still have a glaring need at linebacker and cornerback. I don't believe that the guys we picked up are the answer. They still have some work to do. Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler, that is. And yes, we picked up a few undrafted free agents, some corners, some linebackers. But quite frankly, I don't think those guys are the answers for our defense. We have a lot of glaring needs on the defense. Last year, we were in the bottom half of all the defensive categories, as in points allowed, turnovers, yards allowed, and sacks. We cannot have that this year if we want to be a playoff team. We need more sacks. We need more interceptions. 
That's why we went and got Tyree Wilson. Max Crosby needs more help. I believe we had 16 total sacks last year, and Max Crosby had 12 of them. That's inexcusable. That cannot happen from here going forward. If we want to be a playoff team, we have to rush the passer a lot better. So by selecting Tyree Wilson, I believe he has a lot on his plate this coming year. We need him to be a great player. We cannot afford to have a bust. Same goes with Michael Mayer. We drafted him to be our future. I believe he will be a great replacement for Darren Waller. Yes, I know he doesn't have top end speed like Darren Waller, but he's a hell of a lot better at blocking than Darren was. Darren didn't really like to block as much. He was only a pass catcher at times. Like I was saying earlier, we did not fill all of our needs. We still need a linebacker and some quarterback help. So I think some trades are coming in the next coming weeks. OTAs and training camp is still a few weeks away, guys. So let's hold our horses because Dave Ziegler ain't done yet. I don't think we could afford to keep Hunter Renfro. We're paying him too much to be a third option as far as the wide receiver goes. And by adding Michael Mayer, I don't think we need Renfro. Hunter Renfro would fumble the ball a lot. A lot of people are afraid to say that. And I didn't like him back there punt returning. Why don't we just trade him to New Orleans? I bet you Derek would be in love with that idea. Heck, every single player that's played with Derek is going to New Orleans. A lot of analysts on ESPN and NFL Network have been giving us a B-plus grade. And that's a little bit where I'm tending to go. But when it's all said and done, I give us a B-minus. Because we didn't fill all the needs. We didn't get our cornerback that we truly needed. You know, I don't think tight end was a glaring need. We signed O.J. Howard and Austin Hooper. But but by getting Michael Mayer, you just can't pass up a player like that. He was ranked top 20 in Mel Kuyper's big board. So by getting him at 35 was a great value for that pick. He will be a great tight end for years to come. And in other Raider news, Josh Jacobs still hasn't signed his franchise tag. So I hope he could get that deal done because if he doesn't show up, I think that running back room is, is not that good without him. Brandon Bolden wasn't that good. Zamir White wasn't all that great we absolutely need to bring back josh jacobs and also like i was saying we need to get a linebacker in here let's trade for a guy like possibly patrick queen trade for trade hunter renfro for patrick queen but that deal might be off the table because the ravens might not even want hunter renfro they went and selected a few receivers and they picked up odell beckham so it sounds like a pipe dream from here guys so that's it for this video like i said i give the raiders a solid b minus it would have been a little bit better if we would have got a, a corner in the earlier rounds or even a linebacker. But until next time, peace.